What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on swapping out our stock harmonic balancer, aka our crankshaft pulley, for an ATI super damper. In this video we're going to talk about why you would install one of these on an engine like a K24 and how to perform the installation. Let's do it. So first of all, let's talk about what this thing is, what it does, and why you might want to install one of these on your engine. So when you're looking at your engine in stock form, you're probably gonna have something like this. This is what's called a harmonic balancer, and it's essentially just your crankshaft pulley that runs the belt for all of the accessories on your vehicle. Now the reason it's called a harmonic balancer and not just a crank pulley is because of the fact that its purpose is twofold. One is that obviously this is what drives the belt that turns all of the accessories such as your alternator, AC compressor, power steering, and otherwise. But the other main purpose of this pulley is to balance out any of the harmonic vibration that the engine creates as it rotates. Engines of all types have their own native frequencies at every single RPM. And for engines that rev especially high, like the K-Series, which can be built to rev up to 8,000 or potentially even all the way up to 9,000 RPM, that frequency means that you're gonna run into a lot of different problems due to that excess vibration. And one of the main problems that people find that they run into with all of that excess vibration is that the bolts on the outside of your engine, especially on your accessories, will start to effectively back themselves out or wiggle themselves loose and then fall out of their place meaning that you know your alternator might be kind of loose which is making your belt pattern a little bit rattly or you know if you have bolts for like for example for what I'm gonna have that you know feed coolant and oil to your turbocharger that stuff may start to you know un unwind itself from the engine, which is obviously not something that you want. And so in order to help eliminate a lot of this vibration, typically you can go to a weighted harmonic balancer, such as a fluid amper, or in my case, I'm gonna be using the ATI Super Damper. Now having a weighted balancer, such as this ATI Super Damper, doesn't only net you extra weight at the front of the engine. What that extra weight gives you is a reduction in a lot of that vibration that that engine creates. And that comes from a couple of different factors. If you compare these two side by side, you'll actually see that the diameter of the stock balancer is a good bit larger than the diameter of the ATI weighted super damper. Now the benefit to having a slightly smaller diameter is that as the crankshaft turns and the balancer rotates, it means that the moment arm from the center of the crankshaft out to the edge of where the pulley is, is shorter, so that is going to help decrease some of the impact of that vibration. And also the extra weight of the super damper helps to reduce a lot of those excess vibrations that are coming from the engine, helping to alleviate a lot of the problems that come with a lot of that additional noise, vibration, and harshness, aka NVH. Now for the installation of this guy, it's going to be relatively straightforward, but not quite as simple as it would be with your stock harmonic balancer. And the reason for that is that the fit between the inside of this super damper and the outside of your crankshaft hub is a much tighter tolerance than that of the stock pulley. So if we take our stock pulley and we actually try to fit it onto the crankshaft here, you can see that it slides on and off pretty easily. I mean, it's, it's not even close to a press fit. Like this thing will slide on and off pretty, pretty smoothly. But if we try to do that with this super damper, you'll see that when you go to put it on, it appears to be the right size, but it's so tight that you're not going to just be able to simply slide it on and bolt it down. So there's a couple of steps that we're gonna have to take here to make sure that we can properly seat this thing onto the front hub of the crankshaft. One of those things being that we will need this key, and you may either recognize this as a crankshaft key or also the slot on the front of the crankshaft. This is what's called the key way. And so whenever you go to put your crank on the front of this, this little key needs to be perfectly slotted into the keyway whenever you go to slide your ATI damper onto the front of your crankshaft. So in order to make sure that I can get a nice smooth installation, I'm actually going to take a little bit of fresh motor oil. I'm gonna use a Q-tip just to get a little bit on the surface there. Oh. 
and I'm going to apply some to the outside of this crankshaft here. Maybe a little bit on the inside as well, just for good measure. And then in addition to that, I'm also going to apply a little bit to the key just to make sure that it's sliding over top of the key nice and smooth. Apply some to the key way. There we go. And set this guy right back in there. Then in addition to that, I'm also going to apply some of that oil here to the inside of my super damper as well as kind of to the back side of this surface just to make sure that we get nice smooth sliding everywhere as we go along. Make sure we're getting a nice thin layer of oil. You don't want to slop it on there or anything, but we're just trying to make sure that we've got a little bit of lubrication as we go to install this. Now what I'm going to need to make sure that I do is that this little slot right here that you can kind of see there that that slot is going to line up with the key that is on the crankshaft which is right here so i'm going to basically just kind of line these up so that they are right in place and everything is pretty much ready to go on and i'm just going to kind of give a little a little bump and maybe even take a soft mallet and just kind of tap to get it to hang on to the front of that crankshaft. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stock crankshaft bolt with the big washer in the front, and I'm actually just gonna screw this in through the super damper into the crankshaft. And so then once this gets tight, I'll start to tighten down the bolt. And as that happens, it's going to help push the super damper closer and closer all the way until it fully seals against the back or the front rather of the timing chain cover. So we're going to get this guy screwed in. There we go. Now there are some fairly expensive tool sets that you can buy that will help you do this that are multiple pieces and you know it helps keep this super damper as flat and true as possible as you're squeezing it onto the front of the crank. But realistically, if you're using this bolt and you're using that thick washer that it has, it is going to help keep it flat and true as you're pressing it on, just about the same as that like two or $300 tool would do anyways. So now that I have this bolted in, just kind of finger tight, it is a 19 millimeter, so I'm just gonna take, you know, a big kind of a breaker bar and just slowly start turning and pressing this super damper onto the front of that crankshaft hub. And you may be saying to yourself while you're watching this, if I'm trying to tighten this down on the crankshaft bolt, won't that just end up turning the crankshaft instead of actually fitting the damper onto the front of the crank? Good question, let me show you something. So yes, while that is a valid concern, if you're trying to screw this in and it's very tight, instead of you know pushing this further and further closer in towards the front of the engine, won't you just end up turning the crank if you don't have anything to hold it in place? Well, fortunately, um, if you still have this uh, flywheel plate on the back here that has all of these holes in it, you can actually just take just about anything, any kind of rod or anything like that, and slide it through the back of that plate underneath the engine. So now whenever I try to crank this in this sort of clockwise direction from the front, semi-counterclockwise from the back, this is going to prevent the flywheel, essentially, it's not really the flywheel, but we'll just call it that for now, will prevent this plate from rotating, preventing the crankshaft from moving. So now, I can work on tightening this bolt down and this should slowly, as I continue to tighten that down further and further, this should press further in and in all the way to the front of our timing chain cover. All right, so now that I've gotten a few cranks, I'm just gonna pull this back out, make sure that everything still lines up, that we still have good contact between our key and our key way on the new pulley. I'm actually, just for the sake of safety and doing everything properly, going to apply a little bit of, I really should have done this at the beginning, apply a little oil to the front of this washer here that I've got on the stock crank bolt. There we go. 
it's going well. It's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm probably about a whole turn and a half-ish in, and I can see that this super damper is slowly getting pulled further and further in, which is good. It's exactly what we want. And there it is, that's pretty much it. It's a relatively simple install. You can see that now, you know, the ridges on my super damper line up with the flat section on my water pump and the ridges also line up with my AC compressor and the alternator and all the rest of that. So we are pretty much donezo right there. Um, this is my old uh, crank pulley bolts. Uh, I will be replacing this whenever uh, I get the new one in. I'll install that and I'll make sure to torque it down to the correct spec, which I believe is 181 foot pounds. But that is going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Bit of a short video this week, but I hope you enjoyed it. And if you found it helpful, then make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on the build and the engine swap. And until next time, build your dreams. Yeah, I thought, no, fuck.